Hi, I'm Melinda with Beanhoppers.com and the Opinionated Coffee Reviewer. I'm here to give you another opinion about a coffee product. And today we're talking about the Burnout Travel Coffee Mug that was created by scientists to keep your coffee at an optimal drinking temperature for a long period of time. And so my opinion is going to be honest. Um, I'm not selling this product, so I have nothing to lose, but I wanted you to learn about it and so you can form your own opinion if it's going to be the right product for you. So let's get started. So <clears throat> I've had the Burnout Travel Coffee Mug on my Amazon wish list for over a year because um, I didn't want to spend 70, I think it was like $79 for a coffee mug. Yeah. I'm not kidding, for real. So I knew that I had to have somebody else buy it for me as a gift because I wasn't gonna buy it myself because it's just too much money to spend on a coffee mug. But I was really excited about the idea behind what it says it can do. So let me tell you a little bit about the product. Um, it was created by rocket scientists and they found a way to keep the coffee um, at a drinking temperature for a very long time and they say that their optimal drinking temperature is between 150 and 135 um, for me I am a complete um, temperature wimp I like my coffee on the cooler side 135 degrees perfect um, so that's why I wanted the mug so badly because I've got to wait like 15 minutes before I can really enjoy my coffee because it's too hot. Um, it burns my mouth, you know, some people like it extra hot and I'm the one saying, how can you do that? It hurts, right? So anyway, um, I was excited, got the product for Christmas. Thanks to my husband. Thank you. Um, and I've tried it out a few times and it does what it says, for real. Another thing that the travel, uh, the burnout mug claims to do is to take it down to that temperature in about 10 minutes. So I, when I, what I did was I compared uh, the burnout mug, a regular coffee mug, and a um, stainless steel thermal travel mug. Um, and so I timed it, I put the water in at 180 degrees in each thing and um, as soon as it hits the cup, it obviously reduces the temperature right away because it's a cold mug. Now you can heat this up as well as any cup and keep your coffee hotter um, for longer. So the same thing with this, if you heat it up before you pour the hot coffee in it, um, it will keep your coffee at a higher temperature than that 135 that's perfect for me um, so I timed it <clears throat> 15 minutes um, the burnout mug was at 135 degrees right when it hit the mug um, it was it went down to 141 immediately so the coffee mug was went immediately went to uh, within 15 minutes it was at 125 degrees and so for me, that's okay. I like that, 125 to 135, perfect. Um, for most people, 125 is a little cool, um, but that's, that's about how long I usually wait. And then the uh, stainless steel travel mug at 15 minutes was uh, still at 160 degrees. Ah, that's really hot. Now, some people really like their coffee hot, like I said, and that, if that's you, you would probably prefer the standard travel mug because it's going to keep it super hot. But this after was one, so this was 135 and this was 160 after 15 minutes. 30 minutes, same, 134, went down to by one degree. The mug was at, I've got my notes over here, sorry, I'm kind of cheating, I'm looking at my notes. The mug was um, at 30 minutes, 113 degrees. No one's gonna drink it that cold, right? I just go warm my cup up because I drink it really slow and savor it. The travel mug, the stainless steel travel mug after 30 minutes, still went from 160 to 154. That's still hot. So 
yeah, that's keeps it really hot. How on an hour later? 134. Same, an hour later. That's amazing. I've never seen that. Um, then and the coffee mug is obviously undrinkable after an hour. It's room temperature freezing. Um, but an hour later, this was still at 145. So that's a long time to wait to drink your coffee. <laughs> so then what I did was I actually chilled the burnout mug to see if it would change, uh, cool the temperature down just a touch. Uh, so it was just a little on the cooler side. So I chilled it with just uh, cold, really cold tap water. And after about 30 minutes, it was still 132. <laughs> Only a couple degrees cooler uh, than its optimal 134, 135. So that it does what it says it's going to do. So for that, I commend them. What a great product. What a great idea. Um, and it gets to that temperature really fast. And so you don't have to really wait. Now, here is my dig on this product and my honest opinion and feedback and why I'm actually sending it back. Because everybody's body is different and everybody drinks differently. They like to the mouth feel of a different cup, a different lid. Um, they like the feel of a specific cup. I like certain mugs uh, that are certain shapes. Um, it appeals to me and you know same with my wine glasses I like to swirl my wine I want them to be a specific shape and this isn't even necessarily about the shape of the cup this thing's heavy it's got a weigh. it's got a way actually let me let me weigh it it weighs uh, 18 and a point six five ounces or a pound? No way. A whole pound. One pound this thing weighs. Really? 18 ounces. That's more than a pound. I don't want to carry that around. That's just silly. It's dangerous. I could hurt myself. Um, it's really, and that's not even the reason I don't like it that much. The only reason that I don't like this. It's it's really the mouthfeel for me. The um, the where the drink hole is placed on the mug is too far deep into the mug. So um, maybe I have a smaller mouth than some people. I don't know. Maybe they didn't test the product with women. Maybe I don't know. Um, but it's when I when I drink out of the cup. I feel like I'm opening my mouth too much and the hot coffee touches my top lip and that really bugs me and it's too hot for my top lip. Now, it's actually okay for the rest of my mouth. At least that's how, that's my, my way of drinking. Maybe yours is different. I had my husband try it and because I thought maybe it was just me and it could be just me, but he said it was fine. Um, but I said, I just can't drink out of it. I literally can't drink out of it. Um, I would have kept it had I been able to drink out of it. Uh, other than that, the mug uh, feels really sturdy and um, it's comfor comfortable to hold. It'll fit in your um, your car uh, cup holder really well. It's got a really nice rubber gasket so nothing's ever going to leak out of here. Um, and it's got a little uh, flip. Uh, opening here so if this sounds like the perfect mug for you you should definitely buy it I'm gonna leave you a link to the Amazon um, to, to buy it on Amazon if you want and if you want amazing coffee to go into your new travel coffee mug swing by beanhoppers.com and try us out we are in coffee subscription box we come to your door every month and we are hot air roaster so uh, hot air roasting actually makes your coffee smoother and it's healthier than the traditional drum roasting method. So let me know if the video helped you. Um, let me know if you buy the mug and if you like it. I'd love to get your opinion too because maybe it just doesn't work for me and maybe you'll love it. And don't forget to click subscribe to the my YouTube channel 
and have a fantastic day.